Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how we use Google, Cla Google Classroom and Seesaw within our homeschool. Google Classroom is used for, I would say, uploading yes, assignments, yes. uploading videos, yes. and things of that nature. So if I am instructing and I record myself or I record a session, and I want to upload it so that he can kind of view it later, I will go ahead and upload that to either Google Classroom, depending on the size and the length of the video. If it's something that's a, that's a bit longer, then I'll upload it as an unlisted or private video on YouTube. So Seesaw is where we upload assignments to. So this year, I'm trying something new. Um, we had a lot of paperwork last year. So... I want to become a little bit more paperless. So when he completes an assignment, instead of me keeping or maintaining that paper, he would take a picture of it, upload it, I would grade it online, and I would also keep it and make comments and things of that nature. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So at the end of the year, all I have to do is um, print out his journal portfolio and we have a portfolio of all his assignments I'm not going to do that for everything I will absolutely do that for the assignments in which we are tracking grades and for assignments that um, he wants me to include like his art projects and things of that nature but again let me flip the camera over and show you how we use it welcome to my channel today is my mom today and my mom is today and my coma is here today tomorrow and Tuesday, I just go to school. And Tuesday, and Tuesday, and Friday, and I went with two friends, and my daddy took home. Excellent job. Thank you for that introduction to my video. Okay, so here we go, guys. So within Google Classroom, this is where we keep all of our syllabus. Um, we keep our year yearly calendar, our year at a glance calendar, the schedule or routine that we have for the year. Again, the math syllabus, our course descriptions, our required reading, social studies syllabus, science syllabus. If you haven't seen my video with the syllabus and or you haven't seen the video with our required reading for the year, please look up right now in the description box below or not below, please look up up top at a card on the left or the right hand side on top of the screen right now and I will link those videos so you can take a peek. But again, this serves as our repository. This is where we house all of our homeschool documentation, the information that my son needs access to throughout the year, okay? I don't house my homeschool stuff. I keep that in a binder, but everything I need him to have access to will go ahead and house here. So when we did the nucleus, I'm clicking classwork. Up here, I'm clicking classwork. For science, when we studied the nucleus or different parts of the cell, I found a website. I think it's called ck12.org. And this is what I wanted him to review as his independent work. So, again, it's ck12.org this website is awesome guys it has so much free information so as you can see this is what we were studying so he read an article he watched videos he had activities their lesson plans their practice um practice quizzes and tests that you can have the child do, you know, there's so many different things that you can, there's, so, there's so many things that you can have your child do with this free website. Okay. So if you don't have curriculum or you're looking for free curriculum, this website is actually pretty good. And it's not only science, it's all subjects. Let me show you. Me? Welcome to my channel. Let's see so this is Seesaw, and again, I will link some videos in the description box below where you can see how to use Seesaw and what ideas you can actually incorporate within your homeschool. But again, see, as you can see, here is his assignment. He did the assignment in the book, uploaded it, 
and I graded it, circled some things that I found issue with, and I can put comments. I put good work. I added good work here. If I had additional comments, I could put comments here. Okay? You can also organize them in folders. But again, look at the description box to see how to use Seesaw. Or not use, but how to implement Seesaw within your homeschooling. Here's another, another writing assignment. He had to write the assignment. He took a picture of it. And I graded it. So I put great reading because he also had to read this out loud and record himself reading it. So he uploaded it, read it by recording himself through this um, application, through the Seesaw application. He could record himself. You, he can report, record himself via video or just audio. In this case, he did audio. So that's why you see up here, great reading. Um, I put, let's put some more advanced words because he was using, you know, kind of baby terms in his writing. And I put his penmanship is looking great. You can like it. He can like it. You can add additional comments, put it in a folder. Wonderful. Okay. Here's another assignment here. He did all of the markings using Seesaw. This is something we did together on the board. Give me that, please. You want... This is something we did on the board together. So I uploaded it as notes. So this is something that he included in his notebook, his math notebook. Here is an assignment that he did on August 14th. I put the problems on the board. I graded it on the board that day, took a picture of it, added it here. Here are notes that I wrote on the board for him to put inside of his math notebook. Again, notes for his math notebook. This is an assignment that he had to do. He recorded himself. Let me let you hear it. And here in the Patridge lived next to each other. One day, a pack of dogs came to the field so the hare fled to a stick pile to hide from them. Since the hare was shivering, the dogs found it and killed it. The partridge came out of hiding and scoffed at the dead hare. Then an eagle swooped down to take the partridge to its nest. Now it's supposed to be partridge, not partridge. But again, he had to write something very small and record himself orally. So he did all that there. As you can see, I put the assignment here. And then after he completed the assignment, you know, I wrote some additional comments for him. This was a book review he had to do. A math assignment. Another assignment. This was a recording. The lion was watching three young bulls. He attacked them several times, but the bull. He was not excited about that assignment. Here's African studies, something that we did here. Another African studies. What comes from Africa? You can, instead of typing out the assignment, you can. Um, record the assignment. Here's me recording this assignment as an example. Today we talked about things that come from Africa. We talked about imports, exports, and we touched a little bit on tariffs. What I want you to do is three things. One, define imports, exports, and tariffs. Two, tell me five things that the United States um, imports from Africa. Three, Tell me three things that the United States exports to Africa. I'm going to throw in one more thing. The fourth thing. Tell me how do tariffs impact imports and exports? So in that, he wrote the um, answers to my questions right here. He wrote, imports are when 
your country receives items from another country. Exports are what your country sends to other countries. Tariffs are when other countries raise the cost for imports and exports. The second um, answer, or oh, I'm sorry, for question number two, his answer is um, coffee, diamonds, gasoline, coal, fruits. That question was, tell me five things the U.S. imports from Africa. The third question, which is tell me three things the United States exports to Africa. He wrote rice, titanium, whole fish, frozen, sports equipment, bread, biscuits, cakes, and, cakes, and pastries. The fourth response to my question, how can tariffs impact imports and exports? He wrote tariffs impact imports and exports by raising the cost of items from different countries. Okay, so that's that. Let me give you some more. He had to do an English assignment or language arts assignment where he had to do the five W's for a story that he read. Here is another assignment he had to do. He had to write a story and I and he had to edit his story after he did the draft and this is his edit and his markings and he also had to read it aloud. All the reading aloud helps with oral um, presentations and speaking skills and communication skills and things of that nature. Here was another assignment that he had to do that I recorded for him. Five words that come to mind when you think of Africa. So we talked about Africa, but before we talked about it, I asked him, tell me five things that come to mind when you think of Africa, when you think of the images, what you've heard about Africa, your perception of Africa from what you've seen and heard, wherever, what do you think of? And then his five words were history, rich, sandy, spiritual, clean, and beautiful. So I asked him, where did he get those words from? And then I explained to him in this lesson how what you read, what you see, the images, what you hear about anything in life, especially about a group of people, culture, religion, whatever, um, can create false information. It could create false perspective. It can create fallacies. It can create um, negative images or negative perceptions about those things. And that's why it's important to do your own research, your own homework, so you can have your own frame of reference, right? So those are, or these are some ways in which we use this tool here. And this was another assignment that he had. He had a math assignment. He, he had to explain every single step and how he got the answer for all the problems. So let me show you, excuse me, how I would create the portfolio. Okay. So this is where I was. I would just go to the student, right? And then once I click on the student, I would go to print. PDF and then it will create a PDF of everything that I uploaded. Of course, you won't be able to hear all the um, assignments that were verbal creations, but that's why I have him upload the assignments and then read whatever um, he uploaded because I knew that the audio would not, of course, be <laughs> printed, right? So here it is here. Here is everything thus far, as of this date. See? And what I am blocking from your view is the URL code. So in the video, you will see um, in, in this section here, I am blocking the, uh, not URL, but it's the scan code, the QR code, something like that, because you can also use your phone to scan whatever this is, and it will go directly to the site for you as a quick link. I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video... Okay, baby. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was useful. Hopefully you found something of interest that you can incorporate within your homeschool for Seesaw and for um, Google Classroom. 
In the past, we've used, um, what's that thing called? Uh, let me look at my phone. What's the, what is it called? Um, sorry for the reflection. The sun is setting, um, where I'm sitting, but we used Evernote in the past and I loved Evernote and I still use Evernote because I find that Evernote is a great place for, um, a yearbook. So as we take pictures throughout the year of different things that we're doing, I'll just upload those pics from my phone to Evernote. And at the end of the year, we'll create a portfolio of like a, um, a picture book or a yearbook. And I'll create some labels and stuff on all the pictures. So again, I will house all my pictures throughout the year and or keep it organized throughout the year ever so often within Evernote for that purpose. But I found that Seesaw and Google Classroom is a bit more user friendly in what I am trying to use it for, which is just to have a place to put links and assignments to serve as a repository of information for us, which is Google, Google Classroom and the place for our assignments, our work, so that I don't have to physically create a portfolio, but this Seesaw application can serve as our student portfolio of all his assignments to include, you know, different things that we've done throughout the year. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment box below. And as always, guys, you be blessed and make it a fantastic day. Bye.